Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about aggregation. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com and select begin. Let's scroll all the way down here to the aggregation tutorial. Now I highly recommend watching my composition tutorial prior to watching this one. We learned that an object demonstrating composition is composed of other objects that are created inside of the object during an instantiation. Now the lifetime of those internal objects are entirely dependent upon the enclosing object. When the instance of the enclosing object is destroyed, those internal objects are destroyed as well. Now aggregation is very similar to composition, only with one key difference. Now an object demonstrating aggregation is composed of other objects that are created outside of the object during instantiation. Now in aggregation, the lifetime of those internal objects are not dependent, right? Not dependent upon the enclosing object. When the instance of the enclosing object is destroyed, those internal objects are still alive because they were created elsewhere. Considering the, consider the following code that demonstrates aggregation. And I'll reiterate some composition stuff too as well on this here. But basically I've got these uh, four classes. Um, if you watch my tutorial on composition, you'll notice I just have the same operating system and power supply class and stuff that a computer is composed of, right? I added in a DVD drive class and then I got this mega office suite DVD, right? Two methods, install software and view shiny surface. The new DVD um, class here has open and close. You know, of course, reiterate operating system has boot up, shut down, power supply, turn on, turn off. Okay, so when we create our new computer um, object here, right? The first three statements demonstrate composition by creating these objects, an operating system object, a power supply object, and a DVD object inside of the computer class, internal to that, right? Then you'll notice we've got this private mega office suite DVD type DVD reference variable. It's reference only, so it has potential for aggregation at this point. Now in the constructor, I've added now, instead of the no argument constructor, I'm, I've got one parameter here for a mega, mega office suite DVD type and a DVD reference variable. Now here's where aggregation actually occurs there, right? Um, we are going to assign this.dvd, right, which is this reference variable up there, to the reference variable passed in as the um, as the parameter, which in fact will point to an object that's created outside of the computer class, not internal to this. Okay, that will invoke the turn on boot up, and I, I created this new method here called DVD stuff, you know, um, and just commented some stuff. But basically, it'll invoke the DVD dot install software uh, method, right? So it, it, we're definitely having the behavior of the DVD. Uh, install software method up here from the mega office suite DVD object okay and then of course the done all done shut down turn off so in the test me class here with the main method entry point first thing we'll do is we'll create a on this statement a new instance of a mega office suite DVD object there right and assign that to a reference variable DVD of type mega office suite DVD now in the computer object that we create here right here really and we pass it in that particular reference variable to the constructor right the computer um, object at that point in time is composed of these and it has an aggregation of a basically um, a mega mega office suite DVD right and that aggregation that it's composed of there well I shouldn't say composed of but it contains at that point is created outside of instantiating, creating an instance of the computer. Um, anyway there, right? Because here's our object right here for the Mega Office Suite DVD. Here's our computer object there. Okay, then we'll browse the internet, write some source code, and then we'll invoke the DVD stuff method, right? And the DVD stuff method, you know, we'll open the drive, install the software, and then the install software method, of course, is we're directly invoking that on this instance of the um, of the Mega Office Suite DVD, right? And we'll install the software, and then we'll invoke the all done method, and the all done method will just, of course, shut down and turn off. 
And then we'll set C equals to null, right? So at this point in time, this computer object that we created up here is no longer referenced. And because it's no longer referenced, it's eligible for garbage collection, right? Now we can still invoke DVD.ViewShinySurface because the DVD object, uh, that reference variable DVD is pointing to, that object is still alive, okay? So I'm just going to reiterate a few things in this last paragraph here. So in the example above, the difference between composition and aggregation becomes apparent when the statement C equals null is invoked. The Mega Office Suite DVD object continues to live after the computer object and its composition objects are destroyed. Now at one time the computer object did consist of a Mega Office Suite DVD, but it was merely just a reference to the actual object created outside of the computer object. All right, let's kind of put this all together and just uh, run it here. Let's Come down here, highlight all the source code. Go we'll C to copy, or right click and select copy. I'm gonna move my browser off screen and I've got a shortcut to uh, my command prompt on the desktop right down here. But if you don't have one, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's go ahead and get rid of the app. But anyway, uh, if you're just coming into my tutorials, first thing you want to do when you open up the command prompt is type in Java C. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, cd space backslash cd sh is short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory using the md command. I already have that folder Java there. Um, so, but if you don't, the MD Java will go ahead and create that for you. Let's change directories to Java folder. Let's create a, a directory called aggregation, okay? Um, and change directories to the aggregation folder. I'm on notepad aggregation.java. Aggregation.java is going to be the name of my source code file, also known as a compilation unit. All right. Um, let's go ahead and do control V to paste all that stuff in. All right, click and select paste, okay? <clears throat> Okay, now the difference is here, I've actually done the methods and, you know, basically they're just, the methods are just going to display stuff to the console there. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this here, right? Obviously, you know, I got the operating system, power supply DVD, and the Mega Office Suite DVD, and then, of course, the computer class, right, with its composition objects inside of there, composed of inside of there, and then our aggregation, right, object, which is created um, outside of there, right? Okay. And in this class aggregation here, I got the main method entry point. It basically does pretty much what the other, what I described here first. So we're gonna go ahead and save this up here. Let's clear our screen. Java C to compile this, Java to run it. <coughs> okay, so here's what we get. We get, of course, um, powering on, OS is booting up, browsing the internet, writing some source code, right? Because basically, you know, powering on, booting up, that all occurred there in the constructor for computer here, right? Turn on, boot up, and then now that we have our new computer object there, we'll browse the internet, write some source code, and then we'll invoke the DVD stuff method down here. And the DVD stuff method will open the drive, place the DVD in tray, close it, install software, open the drive, remove the DVD, and close it, right? Exactly what we see right here. DVD drive is open, placing DVD in tray, DVD drive is closed. Installation of Mega Office Suite complete. DVD drive is open. Removing DVD from tray. DVD, DVD drive is closed. Saving work, right? And um, then we'll invoke the all done method. And the all done method will then in, in, um, in turn invoke the shutdown method from the operating system and the turn off method from the power supply, okay? And then um, the whole entire aha moment up here is we set c equal to null which is our reference variable to the computer object right so of course the computer object and all the composition objects are destroyed and eligible for garbage collection right um basically then we can invoke the view shiny surface right and then we just basically see this this display of the console look at that shiny prismy reflection okay so up here on installation of Mega Office Suite, right? This was invoked out of the um, the DVD class, right? You can come down here and we'll see this, right? Uh, install software, installation of the Mega Office Suite complete, right? And then of course view shiny surface directly invoked on the um, you know the instance that we have separate from the computer 
object there, okay? All right, so you can see after we set SQL to null, the DVD object, of course, is still alive, and that is primarily the difference between composition and aggregation. Um, is that, you know, things that were, were part of, or, you know, uh, the computer object consisted of at one point in time, uh, once, it's, once the computer object is gone, um, those particular objects still live on, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that, and get rid of that. Um, basically, that pretty much concludes this tutorial. I don't really have any final thoughts, so anyway, thanks for watching.